Hi, I'm Matt Eld and welcome to the Canary Room. It's a show that's been almost 30 years in the making and that's how long I've kept the canaries. Canaries are a delightful bird to keep and over the next 30 episodes we'll see husbandry, we'll see selection and we'll see the birds breeding and then going onto the show bench later in the year. Um, we'll also go around and see different fanciers across the UK and Europe. I hope you enjoy the show as much as we've enjoyed making it. So coming up on today's show, we meet the boys in the room, the cock fife birds that will breed for the rest of the season. There's 12 birds in all that we'll see, so sit back and enjoy them. You'll also see on the show how we make the egg food together, and that we use in the run up to the breeding season to bring the birds into condition, and then we'll feed it throughout the season when they've got young in the nest. One of the birds we're going to see today is a heavily variegated buff cock. It's a lovely little bird. He did well on the show bench. Um, his parents were great birds. His father's now uh, with a friend of mine over in Manchester. His mother was a double colour special winner. She won her class and the colour special. Never won the lightly variegated before. Up at the west of Scotland, she repeated the feat at South Cheshire North Stats Fife Show in the December. A cracking little bird. He's coming up towards the breeding season, so he's pulling a little bit. Um, He's not been in a show cage for a while either, um, but if you see him, he's a nice bird, he's nice short, got a nice break in the neck, he's pulling tight now because he can see the hens in the cage behind me, and uh, he's, uh, he's getting ready to go. So, this is a variegated buff cock, brother to the one that we saw earlier, um, again a very very well bred bird. Won his class on his first outing at the Northwest in 2015. Um, he'll be one of the anchor birds this year in the, um, in the variegated line. We'll see the hens in a later episode that we'll be running him with. Um, he's pulling a little bit at the moment. Uh, it's towards the end of February and he's coming into, into breeding condition. Um, but he's a lovely bird. Again, a really nice short buff cock bird. So this is one of four dark buff cocks. This bird is a cinnamon carrier. I bred him from Cinnamon Yellow Hen, which had been a stunning bird on the show bench. He had won Best in Show at North Wales, um, which is unusual for a cinnamon, but it's a nice bird this. It's heavily variegated. Um, of some of the older border men, and that's a different variety of canary, we'd call it a three parts dark. But I'm a champion Fife exhibitor, um, I'm a panel judge, and so Fife's are my first and foremost. So this is the second of the cinnamon carrion buff cocks. Uh, this is a self green bird. Um, it's the son to the bird that we've just seen. It did well on the bench for me, um, but more importantly, it's, it's one of the founders now of the, the strong cinnamon line that I'm hoping to produce. Lovely break in the neck, really strong head on this bird, and it's light on its legs. Um, it's showing a fair amount of leg there. It's got some nice position. Its wings are crossing a little bit, which is not great. Um, but his father's got good wing carriage uh, and the hens that I'll pair it with have got good wing carriage. But it's a really nice bird this. I'm um, looking forward to seeing what it produces later in the season for me. But this is a nice buff cock bird this. This is a heavily variegated buff cock. Um, this bird did uh, incredibly well on the show bench. Um, he was best five best canary and best bird in show at the Cheshire Classic uh, a couple of years ago. Um, I bred some nice birds out of him last year. He did well, he won his class at the West of Scotland as a heavily variegated buff cock. This bird and a bird you'll see in a moment, uh, self green buff cock, um, this is actually the nephew of the bird you'll see in a moment. This bird and the, the self green will form the self line and the heavily variegated line for this year. So both of those are colour specials I've won before. I really like a nice green canary. Uh, in a later episode, we'll talk and we'll see uh, the buff hens, the green buff hens. Um, green buff hens, green yellow hens are probably my favourite of all of the birds. 
And when people say to you, what's your favourite, Matt? Which ones do you like the most? Uh, it's probably the green, yellow, green buff hens. They take some beating. I think they're a beautiful bird. The final of the buff birds, uh, final of the buff cock birds that we'll see today. And uh, this is a three-year-old self-green buff cock. His mother was um, best self-green at the north of England. Um, I remember the day like it was yesterday. I walked into the show hall, I walked down the classifications, I looked for my bird, I thought, where's my bird gone? Where's my bird gone? And it was on the top table covered in rosettes. Um, it was uh, the first colour special I'd ever won at the north of England, um, and it was a, a real, real proud moment for me. Um, I've judged the north of England since then, uh, and it's a, one of my favourite shows still. I bred some nice birds out of them last year. In the first year I kept it, um, it didn't breed for me, and um, the hen that I paired him with, Although visually and, and genetically they were a really strong match, they just didn't gel. Um, but I kept him. I let his brother go to uh, a friend of mine, but I kept this bird back. As I say, he did well. He did well himself on the bench and he produced some really nice birds for me. So we've left the canary room. We're in the kitchen. Many canary fanciers will be found in the kitchen stealing various different utensils from their other halves. The first one, the mixing bowl. It's a massive mixing bowl. You can see we've already got a preparatory egg mix in here. It's a dry mix. Um, I use a blend of three different mixes. I use Kings, CD, and Deli Nature as my dry mix. I use a slightly different recipe to many fanciers. And of course, Dracula's favorite this time of year, garlic. I don't give this during the season, but I will give it in the run up to the season. And I'll do that for two reasons. One, the garlic helps clean the birds out, it helps with the gut. And two, for me, garlic in the birds keeps the mite away. And that's really, really important. First ingredient to go in is carrot. We're not gonna peel the carrot, but we are gonna wash it and we're gonna take both the ends off. <clears throat> both ends off. Quick cut, really, really straightforward. Next, talked about it earlier, garlic. I'm just gonna whiz the end off. That goes in two. We've got kiwi, fantastic source of vitamin C. So I'm not gonna peel the kiwi, but I am gonna take the ends off and I'm gonna cut it into quarters and they go in. Apple next, just a tiny little apple. I don't like putting the, uh, the core in. Um, I think the core is bitter, so I'm gonna cut it round like that. And it might seem an awful lot of faff in this, um, but I tell you, the birds will love it. Final ingredient <coughs> is kale. Um, super food, um, I'm gonna get a handful of kale, and I'm going to squeeze that into the top. Put a little bit more in for good measure. And um, the birds love kale, absolutely love kale. And um, what I will do in the winter months is I'll put a big handful in, but even though it doesn't need washing, I'll wash it and they'll bathe in it as well as eat it. So, all we do now, pop the lid on. Okay, we're done. So, we have a look at that smelling garlic, I'm smelling apple, I'm smelling kiwi. It smells foul, but the birds will love it. We'll spoon this into our dry mix. Basically, we get our hands in. You don't want this mixture to be too wet. It's starting to work in now. That's almost perfect. We'll leave it to stand for a couple of minutes. So the egg food's made now. We'll go and feed it to the birds and watch them devour it. We're gonna now look at the yellow cocks. The first bird that we've got here is a lightly marked, lightly variegated yellow cock beautiful depth of colour. 
tail's a little bit tatty. He lost it as a youngster, so it's grown back. I think because the cocks are all together at the moment in the flight cages, he probably had one or two little pecks at it. She won best clear at Cleveland a couple of seasons ago, um, which was a, was a real result. Yeah. But I like this bird a lot. I really like the colour on him. He's got a really nice position, good strong head, um, good yellow cock bird, hoping to breed some nice birds. Within the clear line, we'll breed clear birds. So that's a bird without any marks on and we'll breed lightly variegated and ticked or 10% as they're known in the classifications now and that's birds with just less than 10% variegation so if you think about a yellow canary as many of us do and you think that a, a lightly variegated bird's just got a few green feathers on it. So this is the second of the yellow cocks that will form the clear line this year for me. Um, this is a, a lightly marked again, ticked bird, yeah, it's got a little grizzle mark on its wing. This bird's the grandson of the variegated buff hen on my website. Um, not as good colour as the other birds, you'll notice. Um, so the other birds are real deep buttercupy colour. Um, this is more of a lemon based yellow, largely because it's been bred out through dark birds, um, so they've lightened up over a period of time, but it's got a fantastic shape to it really really nice stance it's showing itself now it's now um, so again I bred a few birds from it last year um, in its first season with me um, but this year it's itself and its sister will form the clear line with the the cockbird we've just seen uh, and that cockbird's mother and that pair those two pairs will form the, the clear and lightly variegated line for me this year but I do like this bird I've got a it's got a soft spot for this one this is the final bird in the uh, variegated line. We saw the two Buffcock brothers earlier on in the show. This is actually their uncle. Again, a nice bird, nice and short. Lovely stance there. He, he's inquisitive because he can hear what's going on around him. It's coming up to the breeding season. The birds are getting into condition. A nice mark bird. Did well on the show bench, but it's produced some really, really nice young birds for me. Lovely little bird, this. This is a heavily variegated yellow cock bird, one that I didn't breed myself. Um, I brought this bird in, it's a cinnamon carrier bird. So the two cinnamons that we saw, two cinnamon carrier buff cock birds that we saw earlier in the show, was a colour special winner at the north of England in 2014. It won best heavily variegated at the show there. Nice bird this, I'm really looking forward again, as with all the birds um, this year, to see what it produces as the season goes on. Um, it'll go over a couple of birds, it'll go over a variegated cinnamon buff hen, which again we'll see in a later show, um, and a self green hen, self green buff hen. Um, self green buff hen is, uh, is bred out of the cinnamon line, um, but it's a nice bird, and we'll see those later on. So, the heavily variegated um, green yellow cock bird, this is the full brother to the self green um, buff cock that we saw earlier. Um, again, it's a bird that's done well on the bench for me. It'll be three years old this year, in 2016, this bird. Um, produced some nice birds for me in the past. Uh, its mother, again, was the, the best green in North of England a few years ago. Um, a nice short bird. It's got good width across the shoulder. It's um, with its brother um, will form the basis of my dark line this year. Um, I've had a great deal of success with the birds, uh, the green birds and the heavily variegated birds on the show bench. And as I said earlier, they're a bird I really like. I think their markings, the colour of them, really sets them off nicely. A good green yellow bird is um, it's a sight to behold. Um, I like this bird, I like this bird a lot. The final cock bird today uh, and of today's show is a heavily variegated blue. And the blue fife, although, you know, arguably they're more of a slaty grey, is one of my favourite birds. Actually, really, I've talked about my love for canaries full stop. Um, I'm sure as you're watching this episode, you'll say, he says that about all the birds, uh, and it's true. Um, I'm very, very fond of them all. And my first ever big win as a novice came with a little blue hen fife. Um, little sweetheart she was, an absolute lovely bird. And so, I've had some strong blues in the past. I've won second best champion in show with a blue in the past. Um, and this year, I'm really looking to develop a strong blue line of birds. This blue yellow cock um, is, a, is a nice bird. And 
in there and paired right I think will produce some really good young and the blue five is, uh, is a thing to look, a thing of real beauty. That's about all we've got time for. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. Next week, we'll be looking at the hen canaries and the pairs that will run over the course of the breeding season. So don't forget to tune in. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye. I'm filming. I think you need a little bit more enthusiasm as well. Because you've, you've been really enthusiastic for us. Yeah. And then if we start off with you being like... <laughs> if, you, if you don't want to do it, you can go in there. Let's go in there. Go on. <laughs> <laughs>